Hello and welcome back to my channel. I've just actually filmed my Kill Star haul and today's video is going to be a tag video. I actually haven't done a tag video before. I've seen other people do them and they seem like fun, so why not? I saw Heavy Metal Mama do this tag more recently. I'm not sure who created it, um, so obviously this isn't my tag. <laughs> um, and it's called the Goth Tag, and I thought that would be a suitable one to start off with, at least. So I have the questions on my phone. As I said, I'm not sure who started it. I found questions on different websites, so I'm not sure who took credit for that. So there are 10 questions, and I'm just going to go through them and give my answers and maybe this helps you get to know me a bit better i guess so the first one is how long have you been a goth and i think it's around five or six years now i was trying to remember and i think it was like towards the end of year 10 i started to like experiment with makeup and things and i'd say that's kind of the point maybe i went into that route i guess i found a photo from 2014 I believe and it was when I was like doing my gothic Alice kind of thing so that would have been five years ago and I knew I was I dressed differently before then so it was around five or six years basically the second question is how were you introduced to goth now well, this is <laughs> um not gonna lie morganville started it off um i basically i went through this addictive pirate stage like i loved pirates of the caribbean like the haunted bat knows this and she always thinks it's hilarious um i was obsessed with pirates of the caribbean and i kind of i've always gone through phases which okay <laughs> um i went through a Pirates of the Caribbean stage and I believe next it was like Alice in Wonderland. I loved Tim Burton's Alice in Wonderland and I think it kind of came off of that somewhere. Um, I remember I was reading kind of pirate books and then I switched kind of into vampire books and then I came across this book series and this is the Morganville Vampires book. There are like 15 and I have read the series like four times. <laughs> Again addiction and this is like the one that had the prettiest cover that I always really liked. When I read the books there's a character called Eve Rosser, I'm not gonna like give any spoilers away in case you are reading these or something, um, but Eve Rosser was a goth and she always wore like red stompy Doc Martin boots I think and like all these black clothing and everything and at that point I was obsessed, I was like oh my gosh I need to draw the characters and when I went on to drawing Eve I started to look at gothic fashion, that's kind of what introduced me to it and I'd like you know screenshot things like oh that looks really cool and that would look good with that and of course like these covers have a gothic style to them I would say it's kind of like damask and like dark makeup I always thought this was kind of like Eve with like the eyeliner and the pale makeup and all of that so I would definitely say this is what kind of started it because after reading these I went off and I bought Doc Martens and that kind of entered into the baby bat days which I will talk about later so this was definitely the starting point I would say but I think different things have influenced it but this was how I was introduced to the fashion side of it anyway again which I will talk about a bit later. Question three is what gothic subgenre would you put yourself into? I know some people are kind of annoyed by the subgenres. I think they're kind of useful I mean, I'm not saying you should put yourself in like one main category and be like, oh no, I can't try anything out. But I think it's easier to describe fashion, if that makes sense. I mean, I'm talking about it more of a fashion point of view because that's what I think about when I think of these subgenres. Like, this is Victorian. Um, this isn't like trad goth or anything. So when I think of those, I think of trad goth as like winkle pickers, like PVC, fishnets, very DIY kind of style, backcombed hair big eyeliner when I think of Victorian I think of more like lace velvet um more classy I guess <laughs> elegant and then there's kind of the like witchy side of it so there's all like I mean there's loads and loads of different subgenres, but I wouldn't put myself in one just because I like a lot of things I wouldn't necessarily say oh I'm trad goth or, oh I'm Victorian or whatever but I say the th main few that I 
tend to go towards I guess is definitely trad goth sometimes I have some winkle pickers and I like the big bold eyeliner and the puffy hair and stuff um Victorian because and probably witchy almost like modern fashion I'd say I think it was called new goth whether people argue that that's a thing or not but I'd say some of my fashion is more like that so kind of witchy ish as well but I mean I like a lot of things so number four is what do you believe to be the basis of the gothic subculture there's a lot of drama going on about this at the moment um about rules and stuff but basically I was mainly in it for the fashion I'm not going to lie I say in a general answer to that question i'd say it's just like having a love of like dark spooky things but i'd say you like things that maybe other people wouldn't like as an example i've got a statue over there of a raven on the skull most people think right but i think oh you know that would look nice on my bookcase <laughs> so i'd say it's just like having a love for like darker things for example i mean it could be anything like dark literature and books um dark theater things i love phantom of the opera it's like my favorite it's not picked because it's a gothic theater thing it just is my favorite so kind of things like that it's kind of difficult to explain i guess i mean i like anything kind of spooky i love halloween as you can tell by my bedding <laughs> but i'd say the basis of it is as i said to have a love for the dark mysterious spooky stuff but i know it came from the music saying that going back to the whole this thing i considered myself as a goth for five years now but only this year have i actually got into the music like properly not because i ever didn't like it or anything i just never got round to actually listening to it which sounds a bit strange but i think because i've always had like busy things going on like I've always been in either school or college or now uni it's just it's a lot going on and I never think to sit down and actually listen to it I guess one good thing that came out of all that drama was it kind of made me think that you know it did come from the music and I should give the music a try and it like gave me the motivation to actually go and do that I suppose as I have Apple music now they literally have like a goth essentials playlist which is amazing like I think I struggled to find it as well and it has so many songs from just like gothic groups which is amazing I will just find that because I was so happy to find it it's this one and it's got like a raven on it and it just says essentials goth <laughs> which i thought was kind of funny i'd like put this on in the background if i'd be doing something like in my room and then i pick out the songs that i thought oh my gosh that's catchy and i really like it and i it turns out i do like goth music i just never thought to look for it so i'd say i was more in it for the fashion because i've always loved gothic fashion but kind of more recently i do love the music as well so it does have like a mixture of like joy division sisters of mercy the cure so it's got like all of like the main ones number five what do you dislike about being goth i had to think about this one for a while because i was looking at it before i was filming and i was like what do i not like about it a lot of people would say the drama but i haven't really been exposed to a lot of that i've heard about it I'm not really a drama person so I'm not gonna make a response video about that or anything. I'm not really involved in that I guess. So I was trying to think and I guess I'd probably say is it is a lot of effort. Sometimes when I'm at uni people are like oh my gosh how long does it take you to get ready and it's like oh an hour and a half <laughs> like maybe two hours and some people are like oh I just woke up 20 minutes ago and it's like I'd quite like to wake up 10 minutes before I leave or something. I wouldn't say that that's something I hate or anything because I choose to do it. Like, I know I could leave the house and, like, put on a dress that's, like, gothic still and, like, not do the face. But I feel more put together and more myself. So I'd say it is a lot of effort, which I guess I kind of dislike. Sometimes I wake up and I'm just like, I wish I could press a button and it would just be done. <laughs> I'd say that's mainly the main one. I suppose the other thing is people, I kind of took this from Heavy Metal Mama, I think this was one of hers I believe, um, she was saying how people assume that you're not a nice person and that is 
sometimes true I think even simple things like I'll be walking in like the shopping center and then someone will be running to the door and I'll hold it open for them and they'll be like oh oh thank you and it's like yes yeah, a nice person <laughs> so I say just stuff like that but it is a bit frustrating but it would never put me off of it I'd say that answers question five hopefully question six what do your parents think of it I kind of did it in stages so it wasn't like I woke up one day and it was like boom I kind of did that very slowly so I think I started wearing black and one color and then all black and then more like brands and stuff as I like worked because I did start being kind of gothy when I didn't work like my Saturday job I think I found it easier once I started working and earning money I was able to buy my own and have like a debit card rather than like a cash card when you're younger because I'd also have to ask my parents be like oh can I get this and then sometimes they'd say no and I'd be like okay and you know there's nothing I could do about it because I had to put it on my mum's card so I think I had more freedom when I had a debit card I think this is when I was what 16 yeah something like that generally though they're okay with it sometimes they'll say oh you know you could get a blue denim jacket it's like no but I want the black one <laughs> I mean they know I wouldn't say they hate it but if I like came out of it I don't think they'd be upset <laughs> I guess they're all right and also I think it helps because I do an art degree so they're like ah it's fine <laughs> Question seven, eyebrows or no eyebrows? Obviously eyebrows. I've never considered shaving them off. I know some people do and it suits them. As I talked about the effort thing, this eyeliner takes like 20 minutes. I'm not doing eyebrows as well. The most I do with my eyebrows is they're already fairly dark, but they're quite a bit lighter because I dyed my hair black. My natural hair is like a lightish brown. Where I've dyed my hair black, my eyebrows are quite contrasty to my hair. So what I do is I just fill them in with like a bit of dark brown and black eyeshadow. So they are like more to my hair colour. And I do make them a bit pointy because I just like that at the moment. <laughs> but that's as much as I do to them and put like a gel to so like stay in place. But that takes like two or three minutes. So it's not that big of a deal. I couldn't imagine drawing them on. I don't think I'd look good without them either. Especially because my fringe is quite high. I couldn't, no. No, <laughs> definitely eyebrows. Question eight, what is your favorite band? I'd say I definitely go through phases of this. Not that I ever dislike a band, but I'll like loads and then there'll be a group that I love and I'll listen to for, for a week and then I might get sick of the music and then move on. And then three weeks later, I'm back to listening to it. So I definitely go through phases, but I like all of it. At the moment, I'll just name like a few that I like because I, I love, I love this question. <laughs> I'd say from the gothy music, I definitely love Temple of Love by the Sisters of Mercy. When that song comes on, I'm like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> so I'd say that's definitely one that's like on repeat at the moment. As it is Friday today, I definitely like Friday I'm in love because it's like a feel good song. I only listen to it on Friday though, <laughs> of course. The other one is Spellbound by Susie and the Banshees. I definitely am loving that one at the moment. As for other music, because these were like the ones that I recently discovered. I'm a huge Evanescence fan. Like I know that Evanescence don't consider them as a goth band. I know that. But people put so much hate on Evanescence because they're like, oh, they're just, they're, they're not goth. And people say, it doesn't matter, they're a good band. They are a good band. Amy Lee is an amazing singer. Like, I would love to see them in concerts so badly. Oh my gosh. Like, I, they're the band that I love all of their albums and all of their songs, and that's kind of difficult for me, I'd say. And also, she inspired me to learn the piano, so she has a special place. <laughs> so definitely Evanescence in particular, the Lost Whispers album, because I missed that somehow. I like a lot of trailer music. Two Steps From Hell is cool. I am a huge fan of Mono Inc, the German goth rock band, that's what they consider themselves as, they were amazing. They have a whole album about like the plague in London and like the plague doctor is the album cover art and it is amazing. I love that album so much. <laughs> I just love so many bands. And one is a band that I really love as well and I'd say that's mainly it. I mean, I listen to a lot of music. If you'd like a music dedicated video, I'd be more than happy to do that because I just love music so much. N question nine, your opinion on Marilyn Manson. I've never really listened to him, to be honest. I know there's drama about him, but I don't know anything about it. 
I like the song Beautiful People and that's about it. I've listened to a few songs but I haven't really got into his music. That's the only one that I really like and also his re... is it remake of... this is Halloween? Yeah, they had like a Nightmare Before Christmas revisited album and Amy Lee sung Sally's song and it's ooh amazing. But yeah, those are the only two songs I liked by him. And finally, question 10, what were your baby bat days like? Experience wise, nothing special. <laughs> I went to school, that, that was kind of what it was. Fashion wise, I remember again, the Red Dot Martins that I needed from Eve Rossa. I remember buying those and my like go-to outfit all the time. I just remember it so like vividly. I had my brown hair kind of now but a bit more puffy and shorter like here. I had basic eyeliner with like a coal pencil just like around my eyes and like a tiny wing. I didn't wear any face makeup or any lipstick. I had this one choker that had like a black heart on it. Red Dot Martens, black plain leggings from Primark and also I was in love with this black top and it was from Primark when they had their Halloween stuff and it said bite me in blood red like drippy writing and it was the best and I remember I just wore the outfit to death um, with like this really small spiked bag from Dykeman I think um, and that was kind of that's why I consider my baby bat days because I'd always wear like the Halloween stuff but that's kind of what I remember from then. As I said, at that time I was in secondary school so I wasn't allowed like my nails painted. They let me off with eyeliner through like year 10 and 11. Not as much as I do now. I think at the time the wing wasn't that big and this inner corner bit wasn't that big. It was kind of a bit more contained around my eye. But they let me off with that because I was a good student. They weren't gonna be like mean about it for that reason and also I didn't wear any other makeup I didn't wear face makeup lipstick I didn't do anything to my eyebrows but like I didn't really do anything like eyeliner was my only thing like a bit of mascara so they always let me off I remember they used to have like uniform checks and my teacher would be like oh I'll let you off <laughs> yeah I'd say that's mostly what I remember it was kind of like go to school wear the uniform and then I'd have like my weekend to like dress in my bite me top <laughs> so that is the goth tag um i do quite enjoy answering questions so if there's any other tag videos that you'd like me to do then let me know i'd be quite interested in doing a business kind of one um, i'm not sure how interesting that would be to you though so let me know in the comments below also let me know if you enjoyed this style of video as this is my first tag video leave a like if you enjoyed this video and i will see you in my next one also consider subscribing because i forgot to say that um and i will see you in my next video bye